afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session Tuesday, the 3rd of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so the rally continues, uh, very, very impressive, uh, even though the German markets are off today on a holiday, the, uh, the actual uh, European market still... Uh, rest of Europe certainly is uh, is trading European Day of German Unity apparently. Okay, so again, a FTSE under one hundred up uh, still, very impressive. Uh, what a record, what a move on the FTSE one hundred, impressive. Okay, German DAX as well. Uh, obviously, he's off on holiday. We have the French CAC up ten points. The FTSE MIB though, and the IBEX and the stock six are certainly coming under pressure. And I'll explain as to the reasons why. Uh, in terms of Asian markets overnight, uh, you had the Hang Seng certainly all closing up an impressive two percentage points, uh, just more than two point two point two five percent. The Nikkei closing up one percentage point as well. Even with all the prices dropping as well, again markets are not concerned. Stronger U.S. data certainly helped propel U.S. markets higher, and hence the reason why we're seeing this gap higher and the continued strength. Now, in terms of European markets, they have been subdued to a to a large extent from a, from an economic data perspective. We've had uh, UK construction, uh, PMI construction, certainly coming in weaker than expected. Also, we've had uh, European inflation numbers coming in stronger than expected, thereby obviously strengthening the argument for uh, tapering and therefore uh, looking to uh, potentially, uh, therefore strengthen the argument for tapering and therefore looking to actually uh, uh, raise rates, okay? Uh, and again, this is negative for European equities if you look at it from that perspective. So that's the argument that I'm looking, uh, looking at at present and uh, looking for weakness in terms of the uh, the actual market itself okay so looking for a potential reversal in european equities now on the back of tapering concerns okay also with regards to uh, the FTSE certainly being into resistance as well weaker pmi data we have the uncertainty regarding the tory party conference and we also have uh, concerns with regards to weaker oil and obviously brexit uncertainty as well okay we are looking forward to for fomc fed powell uh, basically speaking later on the red book index ism uh, we also have the uh, GDT auction as well, so keep an eye on that, and also weekly crude oil stock data. So again, keep an eye on that in terms of the rest of the day. Now let's look at the technical picture now. Let's see exactly where we stand technically speaking. German DAX obviously is off for now. Let's have a quick look at the European 350 uh, daily chart. As you can see here, we did get a potential uh, shooting star type pattern. Okay, so again, potential topping pattern there yesterday. And again, it certainly is being confirmed with this bearish engulfing candle at the moment. So... Let's keep an eye on that. Uh, again, let's look for a potential reversal there. Okay, so again, looking for a uh, hanging man shooting star type pattern. Okay, it's more of a hanging man pattern, if anything. Okay, you can see a bottoming uh, wick there, uh, quite a large wick, and then obviously a sell off, and then obviously a rally towards a close. Now, again, um, we are seeing weak weakness follow through on there on the uh, SP 350. Uh, the SP 350 has been higher highs and higher lows. I mean, what a rally! That is an impressive rally, folks. I mean, look at the pivot low from here at 1480, and now we've gone to 1580. I mean, that is phenomenal. Truly phenomenal rally, okay? That's all I can say for now. Uh, from my perspective, certainly looks exhausted, okay? Uh, concerns over Catalonia certainly have been totally ignored. Again, very surprised at that. So, with regards to Catalonia, certainly totally, totally ignored. Very ignored. So, again, that uncertainty is, uh, is, has been ignored, certainly has been cast aside. Uh, again, the markets choose not to focus on that. In terms of the, uh, in terms of the uh, the actual rest of the market, let's just quickly go through it for you. Uh, let's quickly go through to the CAC now. Uh, French CAC again in indicating weakness. Daily chart at the moment, you are now coming into resistance. Now, if this rally does continue, which again I was expecting this rally to certainly fade a long, long time ago. Again, I've been wrong on this rally. I've been stopped out for the last two weeks trying to short these equities. So I'll just make you aware. Okay, again, you are looking at uh, gap fill at 5.405 if we just continue. And again, nothing is stopping this at the moment. It just is truly uh, un unstoppable at the moment, truly unstoppable, okay, with obviously um, uh, whether it's the uh, the catalyst with regards to tax reforms, uh, whether it's a catalyst in terms of uh, the Fed raising rates and therefore keeping the euro USD lower at 1.17. Again, to to uh, Catalonian concerns totally ignored altogether. Look at the amount of gaps that we've left behind. It's truly phenomenal. The the rally that we've witnessed here on the European equities. It's amazing. That is one hell of a rally. I mean, the pivot low was at five thousand, and now we've rallied almost three hundred and sixty points. I mean, that is unbelievable. Okay, 
And really, we've had not, not even a single bearish engulfing candle. Okay, not even a single retrace. This is constant, constant, non-stop European equity rally. Okay, again, uh, inflation data certainly coming in stronger than expected today. That again, therefore, obviously raising concerns with regards to tapering. Again, that's risk negative. Mr. Draghi has already heard on the side of uh, obviously uh, hawkish stance. Again, that's risk negative. So, again, finding it very hard to understand how European equities are moving higher uh, from a fundamental perspective. Again, looking for gap fill below now. Uh, you you do have gap fill at uh, 5350. So, again, uh, certainly hunting for that potential target. Uh, in terms of the French CAC, previous resistance equals support, so watch out there. Again, horizontal support is between below, so watch out for those zones, okay? In terms of the, the rest of the markets, let's quickly go to the Euro stocks. Let's look at the Euro stocks, see exactly how that's trading. Again, daily chart is into resistance, indicating uh, uh, caution. 60-minute chart, from my perspective, really, we're in no man's land at the moment. Uh, we do have resistance at this region here, nothing historically, okay? Certainly extremely, extremely overbought from my perspective anyway. Certainly across my metrics. 10-minute chart at the moment on the Euro stocks. Again, you are pulling back here now. Certainly giving back. Again, if you do flush them, we are looking at support back down at 3590 and then eventually at 3570. So watch out below. That's all I can say for now. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, certainly has been stellar as well. Impressive rally on the FTSE. I mean, if you look at the daily chart, Look at that V-shaped rally. I mean, you had a high, lower lows, lower highs. Okay, we broke down. We tested key support down at 7200, and then we've just had an impressive rally. I mean, we had a 250-point rally. It's just been phenomenal, truly phenomenal on the FTSE 100. Look at this rally, just coiling and bang off we went to the races. Okay, so again, helped by the uh, U.S. markets, obviously uh, uh, QE related or uh, QE related. It's tapering related, but. If anything, it's all about uh, short squeezing on the back of uh, tax reform and uh, obviously deregulation. So that certainly is a status quo, even though Mr. Trump has failed to even pass anything so far. Yet the markets certainly believe in this potential tax reform and tax cuts. OK, so corporate tax at 20 percent, etc., etc. Whether or not that's going to pass, that's a totally different story altogether. But the markets don't care. OK, certainly have pushed higher. So from my perspective, it certainly is... Uh, overdone uh, my understanding but again that's my opinion folks my opinion is irrelevant okay as a trader your opinion is totally irrelevant okay it's basically what the market believes and what the market reacts to okay at the moment uh, my analysis was indicating the FTSE 100 which should close the gap below at 7370 and the gap at 7320 yet the market went it totally the opposite way it, it, it did not care one bit for my opinion my opinion was totally worthless okay and the market followed its own path and that's what uh, trading the market is okay you put your stop losses in place i was stopped out twice yesterday on the footsie uh, one for minus 14 one for minus 15 so currently i'm short again on the footsie 100 so you're looking for lower prices on the footsie at present okay again you're looking at 73 uh, 7430 uh 7425 then 7420 and then eventually down to 7404 Okay, so that's the status quo with regards to uh, equities. Okay, keep an eye on there. Again, like I said, stronger inflation numbers out of uh, Europe. Uh, again, will indicate the Euro USD moving higher. With the Euro USD moving higher, that will mean risk negative for European equities, given the fact that it will reverse the move. That's already uh, obviously uh, pre present at pre uh, uh, currently. Okay, so again, the rally that we've just seen on the back of a weaker Euro uh, certainly will be unwound. Okay. Again, US dollar certainly is coming into some resistance as well, so keep an eye on that. Okay, dollar weakness certainly is, ex is expected here now on the daily chart, and therefore you are looking for uh, strength in the Aussie, Kiwi, and the Euro USD. Okay, that's certainly a summation for European equities for today then. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.